So we have Arnav with us today and he's going to be teaching us units and dimensions the first chapter in physics as such. So Arnav tell us what are we going to be studying in this chapter? First we'll study about units like how to measure anything and the basic units behind every quantity then we'll study about dimensional dimension analysis and then we'll study about errors and okay. measurement measuring instruments basically vernier calipers and screw gauges. Okay. Yeah. So Arnav tell us why is this chapter important? Like it's the first chapter, it's a small tiny chapter where people don't really care a lot yeah. about it, right? It is a very important chapter because after 12th when you become an engineer, you'll do lots of experiments, you'll go into lab and all and this chapter that is mainly the errors and significant okay. figures and all are very very important. Exactly. If you, So say you study mechanical engineering, so margin of error is going to be something that will be very important to you if you're machining a tool because if there's a slight bit of an error there is always going to be an error when you're going to be measuring or machining a tool as such. But if you don't know what the error is, you won't be able to account for it in the other moving parts around it. And you could mess up an entire moving object. So this is just one example of it. It's applicable all across engineering because you all know that engineering and sciences are different in the sense that engineering is more about experiments and solving it while science isn't, which is why being able to measure it is very, very important. Yep. Uh, what are things that are important about units and dimensions from the JE perspective? From JE perspective, it's a very easy chapter. You'll have to learn about, see, first of all, this chapter is also can also be used to eliminate the options in other questions. Like you've got some other question, use dimensional analysis and you can eliminate half of the options. Oh, and we're going to have a question on that. Yeah, right? we'll have questions on okay. that. And other than that, uh, it's an easy chapter, fairly decent chapter. And you just have to give around two to two and a half hours to this chapter and you'll be easily able to do any question that comes. So, and as we said earlier with electronic devices as such, if you don't get this problem right, you're losing marks as such, which pretty much every other student would be getting. So if you're serious about your chances of clearing the examination, you should definitely try yeah, and attempt these definitely. questions, right? Yeah. So don't be flippant about it. It is an important chapter as well. And it is a very useful chapter because you can use dimensional analysis uh, 